Today we're doing my plateau busting bicep workout. This would be a great workout for anybody who's hit a plateau with their workout when they're working their arms, specifically the bicep. Let's say you're just not really feeling it like you're making much ground on your workout. Hopefully with some of the different movements we're gonna to use today, we'll break right through that plateau. So with this workout, use whatever way you feel comfortable with, maybe something, maybe a touch heavier than what you're used to um, using. That way we're gonna go more on the building side, but if you want a tone, that's okay. You can keep it a little bit lighter and do more reps. So the first exercise we're gonna start with is a leaning windmill concentration curl. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bend off to the side. We're gonna get our arm on our knee our other arm's gonna be up overhead straight, and we're just gonna really think about getting a nice concentration curl on that lower arm. So we're going all the way down, all the way up, full range of motion. Getting a little bit of a core workout too, which is kinda nice too. So really think about curling, holding at the top, getting that nice squeeze at the top. Once you finish your reps, however, 12 to 15, we're just going to stand up. We're gonna do the same on the opposite side. Get into a nice deep lunge. Get that elbow, shoulder up. And we'll go for 12 to 15 on this side. Really squeezing at the top. Nice little concentration curl, meaning it really concentrates just on the bicep. Next, we're gonna go into plank hammer curls. So with this one, you probably wanna go with a little bit lighter weight. I have a couple variations of weights here because some things I'll go a little heavier with. This one, gravity is gonna make the weight feel heavier. So this is going to be a plank hammer curl. So you're just going to get into a plank position. Feet are gonna be wide apart for a good stance. Nice straight back. You're just going to hold the weight Normally, this is our traditional, we're gonna have thumbs up. So we're just bringing it up to the shoulder, back down to the ground. Make sure you tap that shoulder for full range of motion. And down. And once again, we're hitting the core quite a bit with this one. about really squeezing that bicep at the top. Okay. Ooh, next we're gonna go into an ISO hold curl. So with that, I may jump up a little bit. I always do everything on one foot. That's just because I love working on balance. You can stand on two feet if you need a more stable uh, stance. What you're gonna do is you're just going to hold one of the dumbbells at this, at this angle here. Not down here, not too high, perfectly straight out. So we're getting that nice, nice isometric hold on this side. So here's my isometric, and then this side, I'm gonna be doing a full curl. Once again, I'm going all the way down, all the way up. So as you're doing your curls, sometimes you're gonna notice this hand starts dropping. So just self-correct and try to keep it as straight out as possible. Once you've finished your 12 to 15, you can take a slight rest just to let this arm recover. And then we're just gonna switch over. I'm gonna do the other side. So we're going to get our isometric hold here. And we're just going to curl all the way up, all the way down on the other side. Once again, I'm really thinking about squeezing at the top. I'm controlling the motion on the way down. Getting that nice full range of motion. And up. Whew, my 
times are burning already. Okay, our last is curl to hammer curl. So with this one, it's a nice combo. This is a nice finisher once you've completed your workout or the last thing I usually put in my workout. We're gonna go from a double curl, arms are coming down to the fronts of my thighs. I'm rotating my dumbbells. I'm bringing them up into a hammer curl. Straight down, flip, straight up, down. This, is, this helps, once again, get that full range of motion. A lot of times if we're off to the side, we're curling here. I just find this, this gives a better range. Coming straight down and up. Whew. And up. Okay, so once again, once you finish 12 to 15, you can rest for 30 seconds to one minute. Then you're gonna go through round two. Get that rest in between after your fourth exercise. Go for three rounds. Three rounds is a, is a great number because it really gets that muscle working, it breaks it down. Once again, we're trying to bust through that plateau, so that's why you really wanna push for three rounds today. Check out athleanxxformomen.com if you haven't already. It will have everything to help you with your fitness goals, your fitness needs. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave us comments, and I'll see you guys soon.